Hi, today I'm going to do three really quick lip looks because I feel like it's a category in terms of the new products that are launching all the time and at all price points are quite playful now for lips. You know, there's a mixture of matte textures, lots of glosses and oils and sheer mattes and all kinds of stuff. And sometimes it's just quite nice to play with all the different textures and create different looks. So I thought I'd stick to something quite fast today just to show you how you can have fun with lips without being super technical or yeah, taking a, you know, a really, really long time. So I'm gonna start with powder lips and powder lips are kind of a trend at the moment coming out of Korea. I am gonna show you how you can do it just with um, blush. So maybe a blush you've already got at home or using several of the blushes you've got at home. Or you could even use a cream blush if you prefer. If you've got dry lips, then a, a cream blush works really well. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is a cream powder cream blush. This is a peachy tone. I've got a little bit of lip balm on. I'm just gonna pop that over. If you do have really dry lips, then start with a cream blush or a liquid, whatever you have. So that just gives like a soft little hazy finish. Next, I'm gonna take a really bright pink um, powder blush that I have. And this is one that's in my kit. And I'm gonna use an eyeshadow brush. So I'm just starting to blush my lips. I want to create quite a soft, almost popsicle type of lip. So I'm only going to concentrate on the center. And just keep it really soft. Well, it still doesn't feel too dry considering it's a powder, but obviously it's not the nicest feeling to have powder on your lips. So I'm gonna finish off with, this is a tinted lip balm. This one has a little bit of glitter in it, or you could use a highlighter, like a liquid highlighter, or any kind of lip balm that has some kind of reflection in it. And I'm just gonna use that to highlight my top lip and then just put in the center of the lower lip and just put them together and then once you've added your shimmering lip balm whatever you're going to use you can if you want go back in with your powder if you want to intensify the color so I don't know if you're going out after that you can add a little bit more intensity with powder and just use any blush. So for the next look, I'm going to do a juicy watermelon type lip. Now the lip oil that I'm gonna use is quite cherryish, quite pinkish. So to create that watermelony effect, I'm going to start by using a orangey or sort of corally colored lip pencil. Now because I want transparency, I need to really shear this out. So I'm gonna go all over and just blend. So it's not really using it in the way that you would normally. This will just create a nice stain on the lips. And also I'm gonna use it around the edge just to create a little bit more shape but again, I'm gonna to have to soften that line. Because with glosses, it's very hard to draw. You can't draw outside the line too much because you get the reflection, you see the shape. So any drawing outside, but you can cheat a little bit. Just soften the pencil. If you do draw outside the line, then just stipple onto the lip and blend. Again, this is quick because it doesn't have to be too perfect because the gloss is going to go on top anyway. So 
So on top, I'm going to use this lip oil. I'm going to turn this round. They often have a little pointy tip so you can do a little bit more shaping. This feels really smooth. The difference between lip oils and lip glosses are that lip glosses still tend to have a slight stickiness, even the, the modern versions, whereas a lip oil feels almost seamless, um, extremely smooth. and not sticky at all. Again, I'm not going to draw outside because you're going to see it because there's so much reflection. But after a whole winter of matte lips and there's some matte lips everywhere, liquid matte lips, as great as they look, I'm kind of sick of them. So having this juicy lip is a nice change. So for the third one, I'm thinking because I've just mentioned liquid matte lips and how I'm kind of over them at the moment, I will actually use a liquid matte lip, but I'm going to mix it with a gloss. So we're going to end up with a kind of clashing lip with clashing textures as well. So sticking with this fruit and popsicle sort of feel, I'm going to use a really bright colour. for the lower lip. I'm going to just shape as well, it's got a little nice tip this one. I'm going to have to wait because these usually are quite um, shiny when they first go on and then they become matte. I'm just going to wait now. So that's dry now and it's also transferred a little bit to my top lip which I'm going to extend that slightly by doing this so I can get a sort of diffused slightly darker colour underneath. Can I just say by the way if you've got one lip smaller than the other do the matte colour on your smaller lip because you're able to cheat a little bit more and because we're doing this slightly diffuse glossy second lip, do that on your fuller, your naturally fuller lip if you do have um, different size lips. So it's going to, because it's almost dry, it's only transferring a nice haze of colour. Now I'm going to finish off with a nice transparent glossy orange on the top. It's a very, very summery look. It's not very summery weather here, but you know, we're hopeful. And that's it. And I'm actually just going to finish this one off with a touch more blush. I think once you have a bright colour on your lips, a bit of blush is always good. So that's three really fast lip looks and it's using stuff that you already have. So blush, powder blush, mixture of colours, any lip glosses that you have, any matte lipsticks that you have, any lip oils that you have, and just play around with them. Lots of different combinations. If you come up with any really gorgeous ones, please send me your Instagram and hashtag mylisalook so I can see them because I love to see all your creativity and just have fun.